the famous line, I forget who said this, but the future is here, it's just not evenly distributed, right? There's, there are uh, two, 20 self-driving cars in the world, and they're right over the hill. I see them on the freeway. I don't <laughs> have one yet. Yeah. So the future is already here. We already know what the future is going to be like for me, but I won't have one for 15 years because of cost, because of governmental concerns, insurance concerns, people concerns. You know, it'll take 15 years before I get one. And it'll take another 15 years before, you know, let's say 40% of the world gets them, right? Because it, it takes a while for a new technology, even one that's affordable, to get, get spread out to everybody. And then it'll take another 15 years after that before it shows up, before everybody in, in your hometown has a self-driving car. So it's a 50-year problem. Uh, problem. But is this a... Uh, um the idea of self-driving cars, that you have your own self-driving car? Oh, yeah. Not uh, like taxis, so you just... I, you could have an argument there. I want my own. I, you want your own, okay. I want my own. I want. I like I like my own car. I, in America, car is part of the culture, part of your identity, and having your own car with your own kids' toys in the back and your own kids' car seat and all that uh, is... is the Mer uh, part yeah. of the um, it's ingrained in the, in the American dream. Okay. Now, you're you're right to to think about how the car is going to change because of self-driving car. For instance, if if you really did have a self-driving car and it could go everywhere and it worked great, why do you need a steering wheel? Why do you need to why do you need to have the driver facing forward? Yeah. You could face backward, which is safer, by the way, because if the car does ever get in a wreck, and it probably won't ever get in a wreck, it's facing backward is safer, but more so. If I, if I have four people in the car, now I can play a game with them while the car's driving. Or I could have a video conference, or I could take a class, or I could uh, be building a 3D model on my 3D printer, you know, and working on uh, my Surface computer or whatever is going to be next, right? Um, the car could be completely rethought. And when you go down that path, yeah, it makes a lot of sense to rent the car out. So I, my car might go and pick up other people and... and charge them like at, at least can. at least uh, yeah it uh, can be used and to make some extra money and get your uh, and also when you like it. so in San Francisco we're already I pay about 25 30 dollars a day for parking where I where I work uh, and some spots are 60 dollars a day so why does it need to park why can't it yeah well first of all I could drive to a neighborhood where there is, there's free parking and wait there until I get out of work and then come back and pick me up Or it could go and pick other people up and actually make me some income and help pay for the car. Right? So, I, you're right. You're right to rethink. When when technology changes like that, it changes what's possible. And when, and most people aren't even thinking of the self-driving car. I, I was racing Audi cars yesterday at the Sonoma Raceway, and the the instructor just can't couldn't even. Uh, dream of a day where he's going to have a self-driving car. Uh, to him, it, it, it's it's evil, and it, it just, he doesn't understand why anybody would want a self-driving car. I said, you're a race car driver. You get to have fun driving cars. So, for you, uh, fun and and your job is wrapped up in, in a driving car, right? Um, for me, driving is not fun, because I'm always stuck behind a truck on Highway 92, Or I, you know, it's wasted time for me because driving is not fun. It's it's not racing, right? Racing is fun, but driving on Freeway 280 at 70 miles an hour uh, behind a truck is not fun. <laughs> and so why can't I turn that task over to a computer and let me go back to doing something fun for me? Reading a book, watching a movie, you know, reading Twitter or Facebook or doing, uh, editing my videos that I'm supposed to be editing. Why can't I do, go back and do those things with that 45 minutes and let the car drive itself? He can't understand that, right? I, most people can't understand that. They, they resist change. They don't like change. And, uh, And it, we see this over and over and over again, right? Uh, Steve Wozniak, when he developed the Apple One, he, he wanted his boss at HP to build the personal computer and said, please build these things. I, I don't want to start my own company. I want to work at HP. I, I want to just be an engineer and come up with new things. And his boss says, nobody's ever going to buy a personal computer. He didn't get it. He couldn't grasp that there were people 
tr billions of people out there who mm -hmm. wanted a personal computer. I right? couldn't grasp it. But based on where he was in that, in that world, it, it's understandable. Just like this, this guy who races cars every day for a living, he can't understand why somebody would want to have a self-driving car. You know? yeah. And in 15 years, it'll all change.